His Excellency President Benigno Simeon Aquino III. Uh, please, down. Good afternoon. <coughs> Secretary Mario Montejo, officials and employees of the Department of Science and Technology, partners from the semiconductor and electronics industry, fellow workers, government, or our guests, mga minamahal ko mga babayan, talagang isang mainit na pagbati po sa inyo lahat. <laughs> Di pero sinasabi lang po yung resources ng DOST na pupunta sa taong bayan at hindi sa pansarili. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Ingi muna ako ng paumanin sa inyo na late po tayo. Hindi nasaan Friday, matraffic. Hindi ko akalain matraffic everywhere. Tinawag ako po si Chairman Tolentino na baka gusto niya mag-traffic. At mabawasan ang abala sa ating mga mga bayan. Ngayon ko lang kinakala na galing pong Malacanang kailan dumaan na Ross Boulevard para umabot ang tagig. Anyway, we came into office with the promise of change. Today, few will deny that we have made great headways in fulfilling this promise. In less than three years, we have managed to change the world's perception of the Philippines. We continue to accelerate our pursuit of inclusive economic growth. And we have reversed the psychic makeup of our people from one bogged down by negativity to one revitalized by solidarity and hope. But one of the key factors in maintaining the momentum we have gained is expanding the toolkits of our people and our industries to better utilize their strengths, giving them the technological wherewithal to compete and, more importantly, to succeed in our ever-modernizing world. Innovation is the engine of any modern economy, and one look around the Philippines tells us that we have the natural inventiveness to be one of the world leaders in this regard. What had been lacking in the past, however, was support. This is precisely why our administration is focused on giving our people the necessary resources and opportunities to truly exercise their creativity in advancing their respective fields and industries. Since we believe that this is the way to further accelerate the growth of our economy, which, as you probably have heard, grew by 7.8% in the first quarter of 2013. <laughs> making us the fastest growing economy in Asia. We have nearly doubled the budget of the Department of Science and Technology since coming into office, from 5.2 billion in 2010 to 9.9 .9 billion in 2013. <laughs> Obviously, without raising taxes except for the thin products. And already, we have seen the fruits of betting such a large sum on the creativity of the Filipino. The results are clear. For example, we were able to harness the vast talents of our scientists, programmers, cartographers, and other public servants in order to launch a program called Project DOA, or the Nationwide Operational Assessment of Hazards. This, as you well know, involves a website that allows any Filipino to access real-time information about potential weather hazards, which has saved countless lives and livelihoods and prepares them for a risk-reduced future. This also included putting up more Doppler radar systems in strategic parts of the country, among other developments. This lab is no different. I know that many of you in the semiconductor industry have spent decades asking for a facility such as this one to be built. And knowing what you contribute to our economy, knowing how much more you can contribute, we made absolutely, absolutely certain that this got done. For that, we thank Secretary Mario Montejo and the DOST family. <laughs> as well as our partners from the semiconductors industry. Now that this lab is fully operational, companies here will not have to send their products for failure analysis to the United States or Singapore. They can do it here in our own backyard with a test conducted by our very own scientists. And I understand we have five PhDs and five MSCs in material science that will man this facility. Without doubt, this facility will pull our semiconductors industry up the value chain and move them closer to their target of becoming a $50 billion industry by 2016. Uh, 
to fast track this growth. We need to become the country that not only has the capacity to build semiconductors and build them well at that, but that which has the capacity to design and test them here. And I can promise you, you have a government committed to helping you do just that. In fact, right now, the DOST is working on the Philippine Product Development Center that will open next year, which will improve your industry's testing and prototyping capabilities in the country. Not to mention, the Philippine Microelectronics Center to be opened later this year in cooperation with several universities, which will train engineers in integrated circuit design, simulation, and layouting. I'm smiling because I remembered when I was in high school, we were tasked to build an electronics project. So we bought, in my case, a radio kit from Raon. And after getting numerous burns from soldering the same, having the difficulty of playing out the circuit, we managed to pull in one radio station on the AM band. Unfortunately, it wasn't even the most popular radio station at the time. <laughs> anyway, our administration has always believed, believed in the inherent skill and talent of the Filipino people. And every opportunity we get, we will capitalize on that talent and help upgrade the type of jobs that are available here. This comes from a strong belief that we can do much more than assemble items or answer phones. That if we continue down this path of making the most of our inherent talents, the next great developments of human civilization can conceivably come from this archipelago. This will not happen overnight, but if we put a premium in on, on innovation, in dreaming bigger, doing better, and always reaching further with our talents, then it will only be a matter of time until we get there. The road to the Philippines we all dream of starts in places like this. So I encourage all of those who will be working on this facility or working with it, Keep working at it every day. Persevere and improve. The progress of Philippine technology lies in your very capable hands. It lies in the hands of all those in your field who have the opportunity and the dedication to show the whole world that indeed the Philippines works. Thank you and good day.